Tonight we talked to parents about the dangerous levels of toxic gases found in the South Bay this week. They say they're extremely concerned and fear matters will only get worse. Tonight we went to a park where families described the recent sewage smell. I started gagging. It was just very, very pungent smell. And it I've never experienced anything like this. I've been here for 10 years. It's only getting worse and worse. On Monday, we reported when a research team detected dangerous levels of hydrogen cyanide in the South Bay. I work in the shipyard, so the same smell like H2S, which is really bad for you, toxic smell. Parents brought their concerns to the County Board of Supervisors today. I don't know what to do except for advocate, and if you would please advocate at the highest level. Matt also lives in IB and is a father of six. He also is immunocompromised. I'm fighting terminal brain cancer. Don't worry, it's not contagious. Um, here's the deal. We just got home from a two-month travel, and the moment we got home, our kids just could not breathe. The county says it deployed an emergency hazardous response team after getting reports of toxic gases being found. We were able to then let the public know that we did not have an imminent threat of danger related to hydrogen cyanide. Chairwoman Nora Vargas says they're advocating for more air sensors, additional funding, and getting more agencies involved. You can keep coming up here and telling me I'm not doing enough. I get it, and I'm going to continue to fight for it, but you need to understand that this is a top priority. Also today, the County Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to continue a local emergency declaration. The board first approved an emergency proclamation in June of last year in response to pollution and sewage flowing across the U.S.-Mexico border. Monday, South Bay Union School District and Sweetwater Union High School limited outdoor activities. Today, Sweetwater tells me they've resumed normal operations with guidance from the county health department. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.